Hey Power Pals, Power Princess here, and today I am going to be doing a take apart. I haven't done one of these in a while, so click the the eye, that corner, to see other ones that I did a very long time ago. I would highly not advise doing this at home, and do not attempt without adult supervision. could get seriously injured. Anyways, this is a laminator that my mom had. It was a really great laminator. She's had it for a long time, but um, it broke. So here's all the sides. You can hear that there's something floating around in it. Um, this is a Doku Seal Laminator. Oh, Docu Seal by GBC. Not a sponsor. <laughs> Anyways, here are a few of the different sizes. There's even a cold laminating setting on here where it just presses it. We, we never tried that one though. Um, there's on and off of course. I'll switch on to off just in case. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that these holes have screws down them. Like I, I can see that there's screws. Um, hopefully my, my screwdrivers will, will reach them. Okay, so I'm gonna try and tip this upside down to see if whatever's jiggling around will follow. <laughs> it's a penny. Oh. <laughs> There's something else fo floating around in there, but I have one guess to who put this in there, and that's me when I was three years old and wanted to put everything everywhere. Let's just try and. Another penny, I can see it. That was definitely me. I, when I was little, I used to want to put everything anywhere. Like, not just everything everywhere, like anything anywhere. So, two cents. That's what we get out of this. Now, I'm curious if we could use it now that there's no more pennies blocking anything. Okay, well... Holy <laughs> I'm gonna try it and unscrew all of these screws in here. Okay, so now I'm just going to take out all the screws. There we go. Okay. God, there's a lot of screws in here. I wouldn't have guessed that there'd be these many cables in a laminator. But I mean, it makes sense since there's all the settings on this one. I had a feeling it would have a lot of stuff in it, but just I couldn't guess what, like cords or motherboards or... Because there's these little ties. Woo! I just popped off this clear plastic tube. 
that probably has its hydraulic fluid in too. Nope, there's nothing in this. This is literally just a clear plastic tube of nothing. Like, there's no opening in it. It's just a piece of plastic. So this is the light, I think. It has lights on both sides. It goes holding it. When it was heated up to, to the right temperature, it had a red light that would turn on. So I think that's what this was. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, I'm going to keep on screwing a whole bunch of stuff. And... Oh, this is connected to the release. Okay, so... Okay. There's more screws on the bottom. Big six. Oh. Okay. It's metal. Not quite sure because you put the paper through there. So not quite sure what this is for. Just a hunk of metal. Luckily. Part of all of this, I think, is that piece of metal because it was clearly not doing anything or contributing anything to anything. And awful screw ever. There's like a washer, a tiny washer, and a tiny screw oh, holding gorgeous. onto like this whole thing, holding a couple of cords onto the whole big thing. It was just like a screw in the middle of the laminator. And this holding on a gear that was clearly doing something so I, I've just found out that the reason it it didn't just miraculously stop working my mom pulled something out of it that she should have just yanked out of it so that's what broke it so so don't do as she says not as she does she didn't even press the release button when she did it so theoretically it could still work if that hadn't happened Okay, so there's another washer and some gears. So I'm currently taking off some gears. This one doesn't want to come off for some reason. There's a gear stuck. Ew! Ew, there's like some kind of gunk there. Like, not grease, like jelly. Dust in it. I am putting on some gloves. Okay. This is the motor, apparently. Okay. More disgusting, greasy stuff. Good thing I have gloves on. Okay, come see this. A screw holding nothing. Like, what? What? What even is that for? Please enlighten me in the comments. If who knows? More screws to take off. If you look here, I'm turning this side, and that side of the gear is moving. There's a gear on the motor that made it turn. And you can kind of twist it off, and there's a lot of gunk on it. I think this is welded on. Show pictures of mine. Sure. Well, don't worry about me. I have. Gloves on, latex gloves. They'll protect me from any razors and sharp things. Ew, more slimy creases. We're really gonna have to clean this camp. Ears. And more screws. There's one more screw in there. <laughs> The 
off with another one of these black gears. Gunk. No, there's a piece of plastic, so I won't be able to Oh, there's another one. There's more screws. There's another screw over here. Oh, there's another one there, right next to a battery looking thing. So my camera stopped, sorry about that. I have super sharp things here that could cut the finger off. So I'm being super careful, being very careful with sharp things. And I have glasses on now, and I'm just cutting off all of these tie wraps. Nope. Oh, this is still connected to plastic though. Four tie wraps to be cut. There's still a screw I couldn't get at. Maybe these will get through the plastic that needs to be cut. Nope. Oops. It came out now. What about that? Okay, well that's off now. Okay, so I have access to a bit more things now. I can see everything. Um, this thing is still in the way. Glued on. Glued on, so there's really no point to take them off, but. Inevitably stuck. So I popped these off. So here's one of the rollers. It's super heavy. Come feel it. Oh wow, like a lot heavier than you'd think. It probably like a pound, a half pound? I'd say a pound. I know this thing all together probably weighs about three to five pounds somehow. Okay, somehow. Whoa. 
know. There's like a whole bunch of these metal pieces that seem very, very sharp, so I'm going to be very, very careful. Cute cards, maybe. Here's the other one. So these are rubber. I'm going to try and snip them just a little bit. They're super, super heavy. I'm trying to be careful here so that I don't get hurt. Okay, this is success. I clearly have more than I can put away by myself here. And I have two rolling pins. That's what I got out of this. And those two pennies we found at the beginning right there, but a lot more stuff than I thought would be in here. A lot more twist ties and cords and screws. I guess that I have at least a dozen screws here, if not more, like at least two dozen screws here, because this is a lot of screws. A lot of screws. Okay, Dark Pals, thank you so much for joining me to take this crazy machine apart. Let me know in the comments what surprised you most about what was in here and if you have any suggestions on what I could take apart next. So in this laminator, what I think is the craziest is still this random piece of metal that don't even know what it was supposed to be doing, like it was just on top of stuff. Anyways, let me know what you thought was most surprising in here. Remember to subscribe to become a Power Pal. Also, more information about my social media and today's video will be in the description, so always check the description for more information. See you later! Bye, Power Pals! These are very bouncy. Grease here, look at my hands. This mesh bends really, really easily. I don't really know what why this was necessary, um, but it's very bendy. There's so many screws and these two little pennies. Yanking them all off. Don't even know what I'm yanking off. See you next time. Never admit defeat.